What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmatch Wrestling Recap, Monday Night Raw Edition. Eva Marie returning and a bunch of back and forth action. Let's get right into an action-packed Monday Night Raw. Matthew. Welcome to the Evolution, Kyle. Welcome. Oh boy. Oh man, well Raw kicks off with the new Raw Tag Team Champions AJ Styles and Omas, who brag about their WrestleMania win. Oh man, they say that they have been in hiatus and we haven't seen them in about two weeks since WrestleMania, two or three weeks, whenever that was. Hey, well, they are back, and New Day comes out next, claiming that they are going to be 13-time WWE, WWE Tag Team yeah. Championships after this quick commercial break in a title match for the Raw Tag Team Championships. I must say, Omas has to work on his microphone skills. They were a little bit rough, but, you know, I can see he's trying to work on them, so uh, hopefully it gets better. Eh, well, that doesn't matter. As the match gets underway, New Day just has no chance with Omas absolutely just overpowering Xavier and Kofi Kingston. The match ends with AJ actually getting a hot tag, hitting that phenomenal forearm off of Omas's shoulder onto Woods for that pin. Yeah, pretty entertaining. I think we saw Alexa Bliss do that with Braun Strowman. I always love seeing those moves. High risk, man. We then see Charlotte Flair take on Dana Brooke next. It wasn't long until we see Charlotte get that figure eight for that submission win. Yep, right on to Dana Brooke. Charlotte keeps that figure eight locked after the tap out as Mandy Rose heads down, throwing Charlotte out of the ring. Then Sonya Deville heads down, saying that she actually has as much power as Adam Pearce, then granting Charlotte a title match versus Rhea and Asuka in that triple threat match. Well, now to be triple threat match at WrestleMania Backlash. I think we actually uh, thought this was going to happen in one of our prior videos, and I cannot wait to see this match at WrestleMania Backlash. Yep, with Asuka then heading down saying Charlotte deserves absolutely nothing until a brawl breaks out with Asuka actually standing tall. John Morrison takes on Damian Priest next. Priest actually countering Morrison's finisher with Morrison trying to fight back. He had no chance against the infamous archer. Damian Priest picking up that win. Damian Priest continues that impressive winning streak, and I cannot wait to see what he does next. Maybe an Intercontinental Championship or something like that? Damn right, and then we see Lucha House Party in the ring. Talk about people getting opportunities, taking on Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin after a quick commercial break. Decent match with all men, as it actually ends rather quickly with Metalik hitting an elbow drop onto Shelton Benjamin for that win. Hey, well, listen to this. As Lucha! Wait, 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 wait. Lucha! As Cedric runs out of the ring after the match, actually taking a microphone, telling Shelton Benjamin he is the weakest link of their team, saying that they are over. Well, okay. no more. Drew Gulak challenges Angel Garza in the back as the match then soon heads underway after commercial break. Drew trying to submit Angel Garza, but with Garza turning the tables around, eventually hitting that wing clipper onto Gulak for the win. Yeah, then shoving a rose up his ass and then kicking it right in his butt cheeks. Only on Monday Night Raw, folks. We then see my new favorite tag team on Monday Night Raw, RK Bro, talking about their match against Elias and Jackson Riker. Little do we know that match is next. Elias and Riker going after Randy Orton very quickly with Riddle tagging in with Riker just demolishing the bro of bros. Poor Riddle. Randy tags in, mauling both Riker and Elias. Actually then allowing Riddle to tag in to hit that floating bro. Randy's letting uh, Riddle take some opportunities on. I like it. Could this be like a team hell no where they hate each other at first, but then they win those tag team championships? Yes, yes, yes. After a segment from earlier on, we see Mansoor who signs his new WWE Raw contract. Mansoor takes on Sheamus next, but it is not a title match for that US championship. Whatever it is, what it is. But then we see Sheamus go for a bro kick onto Mansoor, but Humberto Carrillo interrupts trying to beat Sheamus down, but Sheamus actually overpowers him, bro kicks him, then bro kicks Mansoor for that three count. You gotta love the U.S. champion looking strong here, Sheamus. We then see Naomi and Lana take on Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax next. Lana almost getting that three count, but that pesky Reginald, of course, had to get involved, distracting the ref. Yep, as Blazer locks Lana in that Kirafuda clutch for that win. It is main event time, folks. Matt, get right into this thing. <sighs> Bobby versus Braun for a main event. I cannot wait with Drew McIntyre actually ringside. Great, powerful match. I'm just going to go through quickly with this with Bobby throwing Braun into Drew. At the end of this match, Lashley then hits a spear for the win with Drew actually hitting both men with a Claymore to fade to black Monday Night Raw. Definitely one of the more entertaining Raws in quite some time. We have some superstars returning, like Eva Marie, which I cannot wait for. Matt, if you had to give this week's Monday Night Raw a grade, what would you give it? I will give it a big fat F. No, I wouldn't. I'd give it a B. 
I'll give it a B. Listen, the reason I'm going to give it a B is because they have been giving these superstars. They're having Mansoor sign a new contract. He's been sitting down in the NXT card for a while. Not even really Doing challenging much, yeah. in NXT. But they give him Bertha uh, a match. They give Drew Gulak a match. I'm happy. I'm going to give it a B, a B plus. I'll give it a C plus. It was certainly entertaining for me. Yeah. You know, we got some definitely much needed superstars, some great attention on Monday Night Raw. So... Definitely a good building block show for sure. Yeah, well, that was Monday Night Raw. I was super proud. Let's let's just uh, jump right into WrestleMania Backlash. What do you say? I can't yeah, wait. I can see wait you guys for soon. It. Peace out. Peace out. Oh.